retrofit of a set of maglocks with a six bit, excuse me, an eight bit word burst keypad, 26 bit Wiegand card reader. It's hooked up to a pair of maglocks here. We've got the quest exit button hooked up here. 40 second timer on it right there. card reader system and we got a secondary SMP3 power supply and you got a request to exit motion right there go over the card reader first right there's the card reader standard 5 reader power data 0, data 1 light control you got normally normally closed common then you've got your 16 volt AC power for for the card reader right there it's all wirelessly controlled it goes back to the main controller this is a two door access system and you have the SMP3 that powers up the maglocks and that powers up the um, timer on the push button rex button and also the uh, passive infrared timer request to exit. Um, we have a battery here. I haven't hooked that up. I'm getting ready to hook that bad boy up. So, the way we have this wired up here is we've got the positive from the PIR and the request to exit push button hooked up to the positive right there. And then we have the negative from the uh, PIR and the request to exit switch hooked up right there. And the very important part is, is this white wire right here is the normally closed of the timer that has to be hooked up to the power supply that's hooked up to the maglock. And then the other leg of that, which is the green leg, has to be hooked up to the positive leg the maglock. If that's not done, the timer won't work. It'll open your circuit, but it won't work. Um, these right here are just the two power wires for it. The way we have this hooked up is we have it hooked up in a series. So each one of these, one of these is the passive infrared request to exit. The other one is the push button request to exit. And that's pretty much it. So that releases the door. The switch down here releases the door which I just left out for demonstration and then the card reader and keypad on the outside opens the door.